Bronx, how much is your first wholesale deal? First wholesale deal was 30 grand. Boom, dude. Where did where did the lead came from? The lead came from direct mail. So the company I'm with, we send um, letters throughout maybe 20 different counties. They called in to us. One of our acquisitions guys locked it up, and then I sold the deal. Bro, and how old were you? 20 years old. I turned 20 in April this year. Dude, Bronx. And let's what, dude? Let's go let's get what? the money, baby. Let's go, baby. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this uh, little episode here will add a lot of value to you. Please be sure to get your pen, get your paper ready. I'm going to let Franz drop all the bomb and all the knowledge. But to me, knowledge without execution is worthless. So make sure you actually, go, you know, after you watch this, you actually go do something about it, put in the work and make it happen. Um, but basically, there's, there's, uh, uh, I'm going to let Franz just, just, just share everything on the deal. So you basically just give you guys all the nuggets so you can go out there and duplicate and copy and do the same for yourself. So if you enjoyed this episode, please show my guests and myself some love. Boom. Smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the family, man. And let's go get this money, baby. That's okay, good. Franz, man. Just a little background about yourself, dude. And how did you get into this whole uh, wholesaling business? Man, I did this. I can I can make this as long as as we if I were to tell you every intricate detail we would not end the show today. So <laughs> I'll kind of just give you a brief uh, overview of, of really what what transpired within these last two years. It's Good. it's been crazy. These last two years for me personally have felt like five. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I I graduated high school in 2020 and. Okay. I was heavy into football in high school. Like all I went to school for was football. I didn't really like I was I was a decent average kid in school. I wasn't the smartest person, but I didn't have terrible grades. And I always knew I wanted to do real estate. I didn't know what exactly in real estate, but I always knew I wanted to own rental properties. And it was crazy because late 2019 heading into 2020 is about to be my senior year. I'm starting to take life seriously. I'm like, man, like if this football thing doesn't work out, like what in the world am I going to do? And <laughs> yeah, so long story short, I came across an ad on YouTube of a whole, like a guy standing in front of the bank. He had his check. I'm like, is this, is this real? Or this, there's no way this is legal. Like he said, he said he didn't flip, he didn't uh, do work to the house. He didn't do anything to the house. So that's really how I got started into it. I think it was, it might've been Cody Sperber, an ad yeah. I've seen of him. And yeah, yeah, I started, after that, I started doing a bunch of research. I would be on YouTube nonstop. I'm talking about like after my senior year of high school, like I already knew I was, I, this, this is what I wanted to do. I would come from practice, like rather than just going to just hang out, do whatever, like I would come home, go on YouTube. It was, it was, the, it was the same people, Max Maxwell, yeah, wholesale to millions, Cody Sperber, you know the 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 typical wholesale guys, um, yeah. just giving the game. So I would try to soak in as much as possible. And one major tip I'll give people is find one person, one, two, or maybe th uh, three people that you really like and can relate to, and then like literally just hone in on their strategies and what they're telling you. Because when you're everywhere all at the same time, you, you know, so like, exactly. It's like, it's so like true. they say, it's like the uh, a jack of all trades is a master of none. It, it, it's yep. the same thing. So find a couple people you relate to and stick with that. Um, it'll, it'll, bro, dude. <laughs> dude, bro, that is so true. I see people, man, on Instagram when, you know, sometimes – I run into uh, my fan and, you know, and they kind of show me their I do. They're following like a hundred people, dude. A hundred people, a couple hundred people, dude. Like just one person make a post a day. <laughs> Your whole entire day is consumed. And, you know, and, and just like what, what, what you're saying too, is that, you know, every single person has a different way of executing, like a different strategies. And when you're first starting out, it's already confusing. And right. when you're trying to consume so many different content, what happened is you're going to get overloaded information. One person telling you to do this. The other person saying, no, don't do that. Do this. <laughs> and eventually you end up doing shit. <laughs> exactly. You don't do anything. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah. And then another thing is 
I, I want to touch base on is, you know, I don't believe a whole lot in like follow your passion. It, it, it was never like to me, if your passion does not pay for your lifestyle, it's just a hobby. Find something that can make you a lot of money and then use the money, right, to fund your passion, to fund right. what you love and enjoy to do. Because listen, majority of people that are saying, oh, I'm chasing my passion. Majority of you, right, passion is like playing video games or, 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 or something like that, but it's not making you any money. It's just a hobby right. because passion doesn't mean like, oh, you only do what you love. Passion means sometimes you got to do things that you don't like to do, right? That's to get to the top. Key. Major Correct, key. right? <laughs> like, if, like if you want to get paid, if you want to make lots of money, dude, you have to be so good at what you do. So sometimes it requires you to, to work a little bit harder, to grind a little bit harder, to study a little bit harder, to practice a little bit harder. Like, you know, like Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, dude. They were the first one on the court, last one to leave. They practiced harder than anybody. You know, talent, talent alone is not enough. Talent plus hard work. Because I believe hard work can outbeat talent, man. No, it's facts. It's facts. And it's and that's something people, I'm learning. I'm still learning. Like yeah. Everything. Um. So, so we, yeah, to kind of just to, to backtrack a little bit. So um, heading into senior year, like I'm telling you, football season's around the, the start of the school year. So I'm, yep. after after the, the practices and, and the weekends, like I'm studying, like I'm talking about consuming all the information possible because – in my mind, I knew once the football season was over, like, and I graduated, like, I was gonna dive straight into wholesaling. So, and and it's crazy, man. So long, just so so I don't like confuse you with the timeline. May of 2020, I graduated high school. That's when I really started um, trying to do it for myself. I started taking action, right? And obviously, it wasn't it was imperfect action. Like, that's another thing, right? It's like the imperfect action will get you so much further than like they say analysis paralysis or just yep. really just sitting there like nothing's you got to make it happen so yep um so i would start taking i had i got a text blast system from that summer of 2020 cuz i was scared to really get on the phone at the time yep and so i was just text blasting and then i was still in college at the time so this is august 2020 heading into december Yep. I never really did anything. I was just sending texts and scared to get on the phone while I'm still like consuming all this information. It was still very new to me. And plus I didn't have that life experience. I was straight out of high school by myself. Um, long story short, my parents told me like, you're not making any money from this. You either got to go back to a job <laughs> or you got to go to, at least go to a company that's doing it. Um, so I, I was like, you know what? I'm not going back to this restaurant. So I went on Indeed. I'm looking for wholesale companies um, in my area. And then that's when I found this place. I live in, I live in South Florida in Palm Beach, by the way. Okay. So this office, um, I work with Palladium Investments. They work in, in Meisner over in Boca Raton. It's a really nice area. And the moment I seen that, I, I knew it, was, it screamed wholesale to me. And I went there from February or March of 2021. And I was a junior associate all the way up until August. So I was cold calling. I got past the fear of getting on the phones throughout like those six, seven months. I was I was in the owner's office, like just soaking up game. He was teaching me, you know, things that you're not going to really learn right. on yep. YouTube or from, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, another man. thing, right? We're dropping Dude. gems today. <laughs> So. Dude, dude, absolutely. Like, I believe in real life experience. Like, you actually got to do it, not just listen to it, not just reading a book, not just watching a YouTube video, not just listening to the podcast. Like, a lot of people think, like, oh, if I consume these, this knowledge, if I just consume it, dude, the, 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 like, you know, so to me, is I don't believe in so much of, like, you consume what you need, but you got to go execute, you got to go implement, because I believe action speaks louder than just watching or listening uh to anything you know right. I, like i believe in that real life experience like you got to go do it and i think what you're doing bro it's a it's really really good finding a company where you can go and work for and learn from right that that way you, you you're you're not just you're learning and doing at the same time and i think that's what's very important 
it's really important and yeah. and that's that's one thing so this story gets crazy just so you know <laughs> so, so yeah so, um just because we don't have time for it why don't we because we got about another like 10 or 15 minutes so let's yeah. talk let's let's talk about let's talk about your let's talk about the deal now let's let's talk about the 30k deal yeah so, so i want to know is what let's do you guys pull right and the entire story of talking to the seller negotiating finding the buyer all of that dude yeah so as far as it it goes for me i've mostly been on um the disposition side of things so I, I i did a lot of talking to sellers and and acquisitions when i first got into the business so like i was telling you from that march to i would say august september 2021 yep. was i went through a, my fair share of canceled contracts uh people backing out but at, to be honest with you at the time it was really because of the lack of confidence they mm. had in me to close a deal like i told you it was just that fear you can you can you can hear the energy through the phone you know what i mean so yep. i was sending contracts locking deals up but they just when it got to that point to close they just yep. didn't have that confidence in me because like i sounded like a newbie mm. um so i really didn't start closing deals and, and diving into you know make getting paid until i started getting into that dispo side of things gotcha. and then so that 30k deal right to answer your story was in September of last year. It was a, it was the biggest deal I did at the time, and um, one of the the acquisitions agents. It was it was a um, I believe it was an absentee owner, so okay. he was living out of state. Um, it was on a multi-family, and I, I ended up selling the deal. To be honest with you, I didn't do much of the acquisition side of things. Right, so, which is which is calling the seller, negotiating with with the seller. Put right. the property on a contract. You got the property when the property's already under contract, and now you're just selling it. You're just finding the cash buyer for the deal. Right, closing, closing that right. side of the deal. Yeah, got so, you. Okay, so, our so company, they they call into us. We send we send right. mails and mailers out. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, so you guys target absentee owner. Right. And you guys sent out, and this came from direct mail, postcard, or letters. Dire uh, it was a direct mail campaign. Okay. Got it. Okay. So the seller calls in, they lock it up. What's the, what's the ARV on the property? This property, I believe ARV was in a 575 range. Okay. 575. And what was the rehab on it? The rehab was about 50 grand. Okay. And how much you guys got under contract for? Well, I believe this one was under contract at around 350, three fifty three. 350 to 375 that range this this was okay. last year yeah 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 okay so okay so 350 and now how did you guys found the buyer so the so the buyer um i have a huge buyers list um and the way i so right now i'm still building my buyers list and calling people we do um i did it through tax row at the time so i found a guy um you know just from the MLS on right. a flip that he recently sold in the area. Um, and then- Wait, 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 hold on. So I think, dude, I think everybody wants to know this, is that how do you build your, how do you build your buyer's list? You said the MLS, which is one of a very good way to do it. Now, do you have access to it or someone gave you access to it? Yeah, so I have access to it because I'm with this brokerage. Got so it. Yeah, so that that was one thing I wanted to tell you too is like this brokerage is because I, I think we kind of got confused in the DMs when you asked me that are you an agent or did you wholesale? Right. Because like this brokerage around August, I needed to get my license in order to make commissions and talk to yep. people about buying and selling your house. Yep. So that's why I did a junior associate position and then I became a, a sales associate in August, September 2021. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And then, recently and i'm sorry man because i'm it's it's such a crazy story so yeah i understand i just want to fast forward december i left the company to do it on my own so i did okay January. now this okay hold on hold on <laughs> now this now this is what now this is what i want to hear okay Keep yeah. going. January, so wait 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 yeah. wait wait you left the company in december yeah after after you closed that 30k deal for them yeah <laughs> so okay. yeah so and this is a, an important point as well it's like i learned this is like don't sacrifice um 
don't sacrifice a long-term relationship for short term short-term gains or sh- you know what i mean that was one thing that i at least i personally learned yeah. because i i closed three deals at that time around the time it was like a 30k deal then like a 15k 20k and then i was like man let me go do this on my own um and then i went i left the company heading end of december heading into 2022 this year so i was doing 20 january to june by myself i did these first six months completely on my own i just had one other partner and he was paying for all of the systems he was paying for mojo dialer he was um i had pulled a, a 10 a 10k list of absentee owners and i was cold calling every day by myself um i sent a couple contracts um but they never um, got to close, right? Okay. And then this is where the story gets crazy because I had a house locked up under contract. And keep in mind, I'm by myself. I haven't got paid a dime all year, right? And wait, then, wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. Yeah. Oh. Um, for some reason, if you don't get too close to the camera, I, I guess for, on, on your end, it seems like there's a little crack. Yeah, I'm hearing that too. Okay, good, good, okay, good, okay, wait. What is that? Yeah, I hear it. Okay, good. Wait, that's not on my end, is it? No. Hello. Okay. So, yeah. so okay. So, so you're you're. Is that me or is that you? I think I think it's you. <laughs> is it me? Yeah, it's some sort of static. I'm not sure. Okay. No. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you, but there's some sort of static. Okay. So, l- hello, hello, hello. Hello? 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would need to fix that, but let's go ahead. Yeah, I guess it's on my end, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Oh, man, this is so bad. Okay. So you, you're, you're telling me that the 30K, the 15K, and the 20K, or whatever you did for the company, you didn't get, you didn't get paid for any of it? I, I got paid. So the way our pay structure is, is um, we do 15% for the acquisitions agent uh-huh. and then 15% for the dispositions agent. Of course, there's, there's, we do have, we have pretty good bonuses structures here as well um, for, for the amount of margin and the amount of deals you do. So the pay is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I, I had, I was getting, I got 15% of each of those deals at the time. Okay. Then, got you, dude. Yeah, and then that's when I chose to leave because I'm like, you know what? I can make a bigger piece of the pie. Why not, right? I got the skills. I've been here for eight months. Like, I know Kong. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> I had the confidence and I struggled Good. for those six months. Like, when I say struggled, as far as closing the deals, I didn't close anything. Yeah. And then I ended up getting a duplex under contract and pitched that duplex to the owner of the company. And... <laughs> And because we we still had a pretty good relationship, I left cool. off on a yep. note. I didn't burn bridges, and good. I I put in the deal. And just from talking back and forth, I ended up coming back here to become one of the lead dispo guys. And these last three months I've been here, I've already closed four deals, and the biggest deal I've ever closed recently was last month. It was a hundred and twenty k spread. Yeah, and I'm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> at twenty. And, and you get what? You get fifteen or twenty percent? Yeah, I got I got fifteen percent on that one. So I believe I net about sixteen sixteen grand after taxes, broker fees, and yeah, after taxes and broker fees. Damn. Okay. So you left in January, went on your own, and then came back because it didn't work out. Yeah, it didn't. It was. It wasn't really working out. Like, not to say it wasn't working out. I was sending contracts. I still had the confidence. It's just it got to the point because I'm living with my parents. They're like, man, we don't yep. see results. You know how that goes. It's like we don't see, yep. see results. It's like no one believes in you until they see the results. So, right. No, no matter what I'm saying or the confidence I had, they didn't see the results. So it got to a point where it's like, all right, you got to start doing something. So I was like, you know what? At this point, I might as well just come back here, help out. You know what I mean? Because it's like, that, that was the big decision I had to make was, do I want the consistent deal flow? Because over here, 
is on a on a on an average month we do twenty to thirty deals a month over here. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, man, do I want that consistent? No, every agent in here make there isn't an agent in here that doesn't make twenty to thirty grand a month. I'm being honest with you. So I'm like, do I want that with consistent deal flow? Or do I wanna, you know, do it on my own, go through the trial and error, obviously. You know, there's pros and cons to both. So of course. You know what? So I was like, you know what? You know, I'm not gonna sacrifice that long term relationship for short term gains. I came back and my life's been changed these last three months ever since. So nice. So so good, man. So I have a question for you. Are most of most of the people there wholesale or are they a realtor? I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, man, I think my audio is kind of um wholesale or are they uh agent? Do you, do they do yes. more wholesaling or more of uh listing and yeah so we we're strictly wholesaling our company got strictly. it yeah it's um when it when they first started in about 2017 it was they did have real estate agents you know trying to just got you. do i got this parts of business but we're strictly wholesale now i i got you bro okay so my question to you now is where do you find your buyers great question <laughs> so right um as far as for me which is why i think it's if you want to accelerate you know what you're doing in wholesaling i think it's great like you said to join a brokerage because you're learning while making money in the business so um my buyers i'm not going to say they were giving to me because i have to go out there and, and vet the buyers myself find out who's serious who's not serious who's going to waste my time who's not even really you know what i mean who you don't want to waste your time with so as far as vetting them, I have to go and do that process myself. But to find the buyers, this company was already, it's pretty established. So I- I got you. So, okay, so now here is what people would want to know is how do you vet your buyers? What kind of question you ask them? Great question. Yeah, so this is pretty much what my day-to-day -day consists of. So as far as like, let's say we have a, we have a couple of deals out right now, so I'm I'm pitching those houses to my current investors, but when I'm fielding the investors to vet them in different counties, this is how it goes. So I'll call them up. So, Hey, is this Kong? Awesome. Um, nice to meet you, Kong. This is Franz from Palladium. You know, you were in touch with us. Uh, you were in touch with one of our reps not too long ago regarding investment properties in Miami Dade County. Um, are you still in the market to buy real estate right now? You know, they'll answer yes. Some people will say no. Some people will say F off. You know what I mean? You get different answers. So someone's yes. Okay, awesome. Well, you know, we have a, a property in Miami right now that's active. I'll probably run them through that property, pitch them the house. Um, but if we don't have a house active, what I'll do is I'll just pretty much ask them, is there anything in particular that you want me to keep an eye out for? or that you want me to stay away from when it comes to these properties. Like find out what their exact criteria is. Um, like what they want to stay away from and what they're looking for. Another thing I ask is, is there any other counties that they'd be interested in? So if they're an buyer in, in Miami-Dade County, you know, they might be a buyer for Broward County or Palm Beach County, you know what I mean? Like the neighboring counties. So that's another question I ask. Um, and then I get their email. And then one of the most important things to find out if you're even dealing with a real buyer or not um, is finding out if they asking them if they have an LLC or entity they buy under, because that lets you know if this person is, you know, is this person serious or is this person going to BS me and waste my time? Because most buyers have an entity that they buy under or so they'll true. create it right before they close on the property. You know, some of them, they're like, they're like you know, I don't have. A specific entity but you know before i buy a property i'll create an llc or something right before so that's like one of the biggest ways to find out a real buyer <laughs> dude so true and so good bro man this, this audio is killing me uh, but anyways dude how can people connect with you yeah so if anyone wants to connect with me as far as because because i'm 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 doing the business man so if you're a buyer and and let's say Kong, if you're if you want to 
invest in, in any of the Florida markets. Yes, you know, I we do. Can obviously connect afterwards, but we're in 20 plus counties. So you can reach me at Franz at Palladium Investments.com. That's P A L L A D I U M Investments with an S at the end.com. Or you can reach me on social media. I'm on TikTok right now. I've been trying to be consistent with that. All right. So it's Sunday dot underscore. That's S O N D Y Y Y dot underscore. So it's three Y's. And that is also my Instagram. So Sunday dot underscore with three Y's. Love it, bro. Hey, dude, I keep thinking, thinking all this to me, man. Appreciate you jumping on here um, and, uh, and do, with the, do this with me, man. Uh, but let's stay in touch. For sure. We'll- hey, thanks, bro. Dude, I, I, I feel bad, man. The audio. Okay, so as you can see here, my audio is actually um, is fine. I think that when I have Francis on it, uh, for some reason, it's not my audio because right now it seems like my audio is fine and it's working. Uh, or maybe it's not. No, it, it, it is working. So um, for those of you, you're new into the game, you're looking to get started, you know, here's a free training that I created for you. It's a 15 minute video where I break down what wholesaling is, how you can get started. Um, you know, I, I also it, it's all I also have a few case study in there um, with people that actually have done deals and close deal using our method uh, to do so. So go to WTMclass.com. It's a 15 minute free training, cost you nothing, no string attached. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. I honestly apologize apologize for the audio, and hopefully some of you will be able to stay all the way to the end here to get this little nuggets. If you do, here's what I am going to do for you. All you need to do is send me a text message to 1-206-208-0676 with the word free contract, and I'll hook you up with the contract completely for free. Until next time, you guys, take care, and ciao. Man, audio.